It's necessary for any utility company to trim trees, especially the Public Works Commission being a hometown utility. We want to bring our customers safe, reliable electrical service. When you go to turn on that switch at the house, we want the electricity to be there for your purposes. Trees in our, on our PWC system are trimmed all year round, but that's not saying we address your tree particular every year. We trim in cycles, and with our budget constraints, we have a three-year cycle. So usually if we trim a tree this year, it'll be three to four years before we return to that same tree to address it again. That is only if it needs trimming that next time. PwC doesn't trim all the trees in your yard when we approach your particular property. We're only addressing those trees that are interfering with the primary lines. Those usually are the lines that are out along the roadside. Now, regarding the other trees in your yard, that will have to be handled by a private arborist. I've had questions regarding illumination of street lights and area lights. There is a difference. Street lights are put up by the city to illuminate the streets. Area lights are put up and paid for, with, well, PwC puts them up, but it's paid for by the homeowner, the customer. We trim uh, about a 10-foot clearance for your street lights out along the streets, but area lights we do not trim for illumination at all. That is the responsibility of the homeowner. As you notice from the air coming out of my mouth, <laughs> It is winter time, and you're probably wondering if we do anything special regarding uh, trimming or line clearance work along power lines specifically for the winter time. That answer is no, because the work we do all year round prepares us for the inclement weather circumstances. But I do have a lot of phone calls at that time when ice is approaching, or even during the summer when pecan trees get a lot of pecans on them because of the weight of the limbs over service lines to the homes. We only address those limbs if it's actually putting pressure on the service line to the house because they're they are insulated lines. So please go ahead and make the request. Give me a call and we'll come out and take a look at the situation. Most instances though if it's not, the limb is not actually putting pressure, rubbing the insulation off, we leave it up to the homeowner's discretion. But keep in mind, we can always drop those lines free of charge. Have you do the tree work or hire another arborist to do the tree work and we can put that line back up again. Be conscious of the tree you're planting and where you're planting it. The best thing to do is Find some information about the particular species you're planting and look at the mature height and width of the crown of that tree before planting it. Take that into consideration of where any utilities may exist. May it be underground, overhead, water, sewer, or electric. Keep in consideration of where these easements exist and make sure that the mature height and the crown width is standing outside of that easement area so it doesn't come in conflict with whatever utility we're trying to trim for. Prior to any landscaping you may want to do on the, your yard or uh, actually a landscaper per se, you may contact PwC myself, Mark Falcon at 910-223-4506 and that's for, uh, for me to give you information on where the easements are located, what lines are existing, and what type of trees that could be planting in, planted in that area. Planting before you plant your trees is a big help to the, any utility company out there. Make sure you know where your easements are and what lines exist. Also, uh, for those particular customers out there that for some reason don't like the way we trim trees, you're more than welcome to trim your own tree. Just make sure you got the proper distance away from the power lines when working. You can hire your own arborist. All the debris created when we're doing either tree trimming or tree removal is the responsibility of the Public Works Commission to clean it up, but only in the circumstances of routine maintenance. If it if we're working the trees 
after a storm or due to a natural cause of a tree coming down, all we do is clear that particular uh, power line, leave the debris standing, the power line is fixed, put back into service, but at that time it is up to the homeowner and or the city of Fayetteville to clean up that debris afterwards. Individuals that may want the clippings from our uh, trimming, they may have them if they call me up and um, put in a request, so I'll be glad to bring it out. Other than that, it does go to landfill some, to sometimes. Logs, um, depending on the logs, sometimes uh, the, some logs are sold if they have a merchantable price. Other logs, most of the time, they end up either in a dump or we try to preserve some of it and bring it over to the watersheds and work with Mr. Sidney Post at the watersheds. And we cut it up and make um, bird boxes to put out on our wetland ponds. Um, take, for instance, the uh, all-purpose trail along Cape Fear. We have also a, um, some bird boxes being put along there. And that's in cooperation with our uh, Boy Scouts. Regarding tree stump removal, or tree stump grinding and tree replacements for the trees that we cut down, uh, I actually work that on an individual basis with the homeowner. The areas that we're gonna be coming into next with our tree crews doing the line clearance work would be parts of Haymont, parts of uh, Van Story, and uh, we're presently working down in the Grays Creek area. We are doing some special projects, which are engineering projects taking place in town, just uh, presently behind the Cross Creek Plaza. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the line clearance here at the Public Works Commission, just please give us a call, and we'd be glad to answer your questions.